Ha, assalamualaikum and uh, good evening. Uh, <laughs> how are you, boys and girls? Are you ready to learn uh, today's lesson? Ready? Very good. Okay. Uh, <laughs> today we are going to learn uh, uh, the uh, a little bit on grammar. Okay. Uh, last time we learned about nouns. Okay, so so today we are going to learn about prepositions. Okay, today we are going to learn about prepositions. Preposition is important. Okay, but uh, once you learn it, I know you can remember it uh, forever, insha Allah. Okay, so let's uh, look at uh, the explanation that I'm going to share with you. Are you ready? Okay, let's go. Okay, boys and girls, uh, today we are going to learn uh, prepositions. Preposi prepositions also is a part of grammar. There are three uh, prepositions that uh, you are going to learn this year. Okay, so let's go to the first one. The first preposition is on. On. On means atas. Di atas. On means di atas okay uh, let's look at the uh, sample pictures yeah uh, the mouse is on the box see it is on the box look at the cat the cat sits on the bench the cat sits on the bench <laughs> this is Humpty Dumpty boys and girls Humpty Dumpty sat on a wall. What happened next? Yes, Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. Okay, <laughs> look at the spider. So cute. The spider is on the box. The spider is on the box. Also oh, cute. Look at the dog. It must be tired and it sleeps on the couch. It sleeps on the couch. Okay, next preposition that you are going to learn is under. Under. Under means uh, di bawah. Under means di bawah. Earlier is on, but now is under. Okay, under means di bawah. Let's look at the samples, yeah? Ha. Look at the cricket. Okay, this is Jiminy the Cricket and he is hiding under the bench. He's hiding under the bench. Okay. Look at the dog. The dog sleeps under the table. The dog sleeps under the table. The rat stands under the table. The rat stands under the table. Look at the cat. He's playing. Okay, the cat is playing, and it, uh, the cat is playing under the table. The cat is playing under the table. Ha, huh, there's another rat here, and he's smiling, and he, uh, it is under, uh, the table. Okay, the rat is under the table. Okay, next pro proposition that you're going to learn, which is the third one. Okay, earlier we you uh, you learned about um on and then under. This time the third preposition is in. Okay, in in means di dalam. In means di dalam. All right, let's look at the pictures so you understand uh when to use in. Okay, uh look at these eggs. See, these eggs are in. The nest. These eggs are in the nest. Look at the frog. Okay, he's bathing. Okay. Okay. The frog is in the cup. The frog is in the cup. Uh, look at the rabbit. The rabbit is in the hat. The rabbit is in the hat. This must be a magician hat. Okay. Alright, next one. Uh, look at the cat. So cute. 
The cat sleeps in the box. The cat sleeps in the box. The dog is playing. Eh? And, uh, this dog is playing. It's not the cat was sleeping. So this one, uh, the dog wants to play. And the dog is the dog is in the in the yes in the box. Okay, the dog is in the the box. Okay, all right. So uh, that's it uh, for the samples. Remember in uh, on under and in. So now okay now let's look at the exercise that you are going to do today. Ready? All right. Let's go. Right, let's look at the exercise here. Look at the picture, then rewrite the sentence with the correct answer. Fill in the answer with in, on, or under. Okay, look at the picture carefully. Look at the pictures carefully. Okay, and choose whether to fill in here in, or on, or under. It's very easy. Uh, if you can print, you don't have to rewrite, just fill in the answers. Uh, but if you can't print, what you can do is you need to rewrite the whole sentence and fill in the answer. Uh, give it to me when uh, you are in school or give it to your teacher. Alright, uh, it's very easy. There are 10 questions here. Okay. Ask uh, your parents or your brothers and sisters for help, uh, and uh, also, uh, and also, uh, if possible, do it yourself, lah. Okay, if possible, do it yourself. Alright. Uh, so anyway, uh, this is a very simple, straightforward uh, exercise. I know you can do it. Like I told you earlier, if you can print this, then print it. If, but if you can't. Just rewrite the whole sentence, no problem. Okay, take your time and have fun, okay? Okay, so uh, remember, uh, prepositions is part of grammar, okay? And it's very important, you need to know uh, whether uh, the, the things or you are on, under, or in, right? Uh, and you need to different, differentiate the uh, uh, in on and under so next time if the teacher asks you can you please get the book on the table so you know the book is on the table so you have to take it go uh, for example uh, your mother asks you hey Ali uh, call your brother under the bed because your brother is playing under the bed so you need to call him <laughs> <laughs> to uh, 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 get out of uh, uh, get out from under the bed okay so uh, uh, try to do the exercise uh, ask uh, your parents or your brothers and sisters to help you uh, but if you can do it on your own very good excellent okay so I think that's it for today uh, as usual please stay strong stay safe stay healthy Stay home. Don't forget. Stay home. Okay. Um, take care of yourself. Uh, drink a lot of water. Do not disturb your parents, brothers and sisters. Or you will be in trouble. <laughs> so, until uh, our next lessons, I see you tomorrow. Okay. Bye. Assalamualaikum.